Hey YouTube, this is Chris. Hopefully this is going to be real helpful to somebody. But uh, and having to change out my switch and our rainbow vacuum cleaner after looking online to see how to convert a six wire switch to a four wire switch. There was one, there was no videos on that even through all the, the rainbow repairs. Very little information online other than somebody saying it doesn't matter which wire goes to where, black to black, all that crap. From people like me, I'm a visual person. I'm not an electrician either. I know a lot of people probably uh, that really have no experience with electricity don't want to burn their house down or get shot. So since there's no videos on it, I thought I'd do it. And I meant to do this before I put the thing back together. And it wasn't until after I put it back together I realized I didn't do it. So if if this is turns out to be just a bunch of mess that's not helpful let me know if i need to if i need to take the vacuum cleaner back apart and explain it i will but your motor head once you get it apart your motor head there's a wire on each side that comes out this is the main power wire that comes ends up coming out of the unit and plugs into the wall there's a white wire and a black wire one the black wire hooks to one of the black wires on the four wire switch. The white wire hooks to the other black wire on the four wire switch. The blue wires, which is easy, blue to blue to the new switch, but these side wires go to the blue wires. They do not go to the black wires. These are both black wires. If you hook these to, to the, your, your power wires, what you'll end up with is no switch but it'll come on every time you plug it in with no way to turn it off other than unplugging it. So that's the biggest thing is the main power, white to a black, it doesn't matter which black you put it on. Just one white, I mean the white to one of the blacks, the black power wire to the other black. And then your, your wires that are on each side run in with the blue. Um, and taking it apart is really, really easy. Uh, I didn't realize it was going to be as easy as it was, and I'm surprised I didn't break it while I was doing it. But the bottom, of course, you take this off, and while I'm thinking about it, my my cap nut fell on the floor, and it evidently went into the dimension of time where 10 millimeter sockets go, because we have been all through the shop and we cannot find that nut. So this, if you lose that. This is it right here. It's a 3 8 by 24 re replacement. You can pick it up at Lowe's, Home Depot. But it will. All you're going to do is hand tighten that anyway. So if you don't feel like ordering another nut, that's fine. But what I did is I took the, the nut that's on here, when you go to take this thing apart, you do not have to take that nut off. I have it off because I needed to use that as a pattern to go by for getting a replacement nut. So that nut right there is a 3 8 by 24 thread count. But you got four screws here. This, this piece, just a dish, it comes out. And then underneath that, there's four more screws. When you pull those screws out, the whole thing comes apart and everything's easy to get to. But one thing to make sure you do, the switch is it's siliconed in. So you have to pry on it and it feels like you're gonna break something while you're breaking is the silicone seal. You can pull, pull that switch out and cut the wire or pull the wires out of the switch because most of them are just a pull, a pull lock. You pull the switch out but make sure when you go to wire your new switch, run the wires through this first. I didn't do that. I ended up having two wires already crimped together and had to cut the wires and redo it only to do the same thing again. So now I have, uh, I think three cuts in, my, in two of my wires. So be sure that you run the wires through this hole first and then wire it up. So, and anyway, 
There wasn't anything on YouTube, so I figured I would I would throw something on for everybody. Another little uh, addition I've added since everybody vacuums and pulls and pulls and pulls until the, the cord come, gets pulled out of the wall, what ends up happening is your power wire ends up, the wires end up broke. So what I did is I, I took some uh, wire crimps, I crimped them all back together, good connection there, and then I taped it to get a real solid collar, fold the wire, taped it up even more, and then made it hopefully wife and daughter proof. So now instead of pulling here, they pull right there. Could that end up breaking right there? Maybe, but at least I'll have a lot more room to fix that wire than having to go in here and replace the whole wire. That's really not necessary. So anyway, I hope it helps. If I need to take it apart, like I said, uh, or if you need any, any questions, let me know. If I need to take it apart uh, and do a video taking it apart and putting it back together, let me know and, and I'll, I'll do that. But anyway, hope it helps. Y'all take care.